Today we're making a cheesy smothered mushroom chicken with mashed potatoes and roasted carrots. I'm gonna use all these ingredients here to make this. recipe today we're going to go over what we need. We need two chicken breasts that we will cut in half, pound and a half of potatoes, eight ounces of button mushrooms, two scallions, two large carrots, half cup of Monterey Jack cheese, eight tablespoons of sour cream, salt and pepper to taste, olive oil, third of a cup of chicken broth, Finally, three tablespoons of butter. So we're gonna start off by getting our carrots peeled. While I still have the peeler in my hand, I'm gonna work on the potatoes. So now we're gonna thinly slice the scallions. I washed these already. We're gonna cut the green and the scallion whites and we'll put them separately. Scallion greens first. Our scallion whites, being that we're using the cutting board and we're cutting, we're gonna cut the chicken breast in half. So now we'll just simply take our knife and cut our chicken breast in half. For our button mushrooms, I bought the ones that were chopped already. So I'm just simply gonna put them in another bowl and we'll get them washed. So we're back here at the cutting board, we're gonna Start cutting the carrots diagonally into one inch pieces. So this is what they should look like. Now we're gonna place them on our baking sheet. I set the oven to preheat at 425 degrees. I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil here and salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna roast this for 25 to 30 minutes. So now we'll drizzle on the olive oil. Then we'll add some pepper. Add some salt. So when the oven gets to 425 degrees, I'm gonna put this in for 25 to 30 minutes. Now we'll go back to working on the potatoes. So for our potatoes, we wanna cut it into smaller pieces so I can cook faster. So we're gonna cut it in half and then cut it into smaller pieces. So this is what our potato will look like. Now I'm gonna take a pot and fill it to about a liter and a half. And then I'm gonna bring it to a boil and add the potatoes for 15 to 20 minutes. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna reserve half cup of water that I'll use later on from the boiling potatoes. So now we're gonna move to the chicken breast. We're gonna take each piece and we're gonna dry it off in a paper towel. And we'll set it in a plate. We're gonna season it with salt and pepper. Last one. So now we'll season this with pepper. We wanna make sure that we coat it nice and evenly with the pepper on both sides. We'll add salt. So we have our pan on a medium high heat. Now we're gonna drizzle some oil in here. Our oil is nice and ready. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add our chicken breast. And we'll let this cook. for three to five minutes on either side. That's been about four minutes. We're gonna check it on the breast here. Okay, nice brown color. We'll flip these over. We're gonna let these cook for four minutes and then we'll take them out. Alrighty, that's our second four minutes, so we're gonna take them out here. This is 
más en Dom. Puede que en su. Play. added the chicken broth now we'll bring the stove to a low simmer for a minute or two and then we'll turn it off it's been about two minutes we'll turn the stove off and then we'll add a tablespoon of butter and four tablespoons of sour cream we'll get this all mixed in I'm gonna give it a taste and see if I need a little bit more salt and pepper. I think it can use a little bit more salt and pepper. So I turn the stove back on on a medium low heat and I'm gonna add the chicken breast to our sauce. And then I'm gonna take a spoon and just fade the chicken in the sauce. Now I'm gonna finally sprinkle our Monterey Jack cheese on top of the chicken breast. And then I'll cover it and let it melt for a minute or two and turn the stove off. So we're gonna work on the very last thing for a meal today. We're gonna put the stove on a low heat. And then we're gonna add our two tablespoons of butter. And then the four tablespoons of sour cream. If you find that it's too dry, you can add a little bit of the water that we reserved from before. I think I'll do that in this case. I think it's perfect now. So I'm just gonna add salt and pepper to taste. And then that's it, we'll be ready to serve our meal. We have our roasted carrots here mashed potatoes, or smothered mushroom chicken. Now we'll put everything together and we'll serve. This is our cheesy smothered mushroom chicken with mashed potatoes and roasted carrots. Please let me know what you think about the recipe. Would you add anything to it? Would you take anything away? Also, please like and subscribe to the channel for weekly recipes. Again, my name is Chris and I'll say enjoy.